retro rock plays everything. Hello gamers, Rob here and today we're going to take a look at my GameCube collection. This is my favorite GameCube by the way, my orange Japanese one. Uh, this one I have modded to run US only games, so this one doesn't run Japanese games anymore. I did consider putting the Switch in, but I didn't really see much in the Japanese market that was different from the US market. so. I figure why even bother because it's kind of a pain in the butt hack to do to be honest uh, especially when your eyes are going I suppose with my new contacts I probably could do it now but uh, with my old ones it was really hard anyway uh, I do have the Game Boy Player and I do have the disc for the Game Boy Player I absolutely love this controller this is my favorite GameCube controller uh, even though I do have a wave bird which I'll show you in the near future At one point I had four wave birds why did I get rid of them why oh why I think I sold them for like five bucks a piece too it just kills me don't do that don't be a Rob anyway let's get taking a look at my collection all right here we have my wave bird controller I have been on the prowl for more wave birds so eventually I'll probably have two or three of them again I do like them just because they're wireless, but I don't like them because they're a little bit bulky. But that said, I think they're really, really pretty reliable. So they're not bad controllers at all, and I do enjoy them. And I will get more of them again. And here we come to the games. I'm going to start with Pikmin, which is a pretty awesome little game. It actually started its own genre. I mean, I tend to call Pikmin games Pikmin games. Was there anything like this where you hurdled? your team at your enemies before Pikmin? Let me know. I don't know of one. Unfortunately, it does not have the manual, but pretty darn cool game nonetheless. Next, we have Metroid Prime, which I recently accidentally bought two of. <laughs> hey, where'd I put my manual? Ah, oh, it's in the other copy, darn it. Anyway, there's Metroid Prime, and here, of course, is Echoes down below it. And there is the back of the box. Awesome. Here's Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. I have not played much of this yet. However, I really want to. I did like the original Rogue Squadron, so hopefully I'll enjoy this. Can't believe I never really had time to play this either. Hmm, might have to do a video on that. Next, we have Wave Erase, Blue Storm, yet another remake of a classic game. And I think I played a few minutes of this and didn't think too much of it, but I really wasn't a huge fan of the original one. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that doesn't really say much. There was a Dreamcast game that I used to play that was similar to this that had jet boats in it, and I really loved the heck out of that one. So uh, I never really got into the jet ski thing. Next we have Super Mario Strikers, which my wife picked up. A lot of these my wife picked up out in the uh, field. She just found them like at thrift shops she was at. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, looks pretty good. Again, I have not played it. I'm okay with soccer games. I will play them every once in a while or football for you. Well, pretty much everybody else in the world. Uh, I do like them quite a bit, so I probably will play this when I get a chance one of these days. Next, another recent pickup, Super Mario Sunshine. This one has a story behind it. A uh, guy was trying to sell this at MGC and the uh, person at the uh, stand didn't want it because it didn't have its manual. Well, I can always find a manual and at 20 bucks, I thought, eh, that's all right. So I gave him 20 bucks for it. nice enough at least it plays i'm gonna try this one again i didn't really like it the first time i played it but that was way back and my tastes have changed over the years so i'm hoping i'll like it now a little bit more this is another one i picked up uh with ryan we both bought one of these because they're only 10 bucks it's the mega man anniversary collection how many times can i own mega man all the times apparently because i do like mega man even though I'm terrible at it. I mean, really, really bad at it. 
Still love it though. All right, here's another one. We show this one off at MGC a lot. Uh, Pac-Man versus, of course, because you can play the ghosts. Pac-Man World 2, really good game in my opinion. I'm not very hard on it. I know there's some people who are like, eh, it's not really a Pac-Man game, but it's a good game. So I'm willing to deal with it. Very nice. Oh yeah, this is the cool part of this. You can play four players at a time. Three players play ghosts. I'm sorry. Yeah, three players play ghosts, right? Yeah. And one player plays Pac-Man. Really neat. Next, viewer recommendation was Turok Evolution. Haven't had a chance to play it yet. Man, I get a lot of these without manuals. But I'm definitely going to give it a whirl one of these days. Every once in a while I get in a tear where I just start playing like all my backlog on a certain system and the GameCube is really pretty much overdue at this point. Oh, here we go. Lego Star Wars, the video game. Say what you will about them, they are fun, they are whimsical, and they are pretty good. They've got a really good sense of humor in them. I do enjoy these games, and I've played most of the Star Wars ones. Uh, back when I was writing reviews for, uh, what was it, uh, Mac Games. What was the name of that? iGame Radio. Uh, I used to cover the occasional Star Wars games, and they always got a pretty good rating out of me. You hear my voice is going? It's not in the best of shape. Sorry about that. Build and battle through the original trilogy. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I do have two sets of drums for this. Uh, one that I keep saying I'm going to bring to like the Midwest Gaming Classic or something. And uh, I never do. Uh, and then I've got this one. Has the manual, that's kind of nice. Appears to have some of the other paperwork with it, which I always like. Oops, dropped it. Ah, classy videos. I do the classiest. Next we have the back of the box with a little bit of Donkey Kong action. I was actually pretty good at this back of the day. I do have some rhythm, you know. Next we have Mario Party 7, which apparently I paid five bucks for. Another uh, game that I've played quite a bit of, believe it or not. Ooh, that's not coming off. I'm gonna have to steam that thing, huh? Anyway, uh, Mario Party 7, I have played quite a bit, and I played with the family. Great family game. I really like games that you can play uh, with people sitting right next to you on the couch. I think the GameCube's pretty good at providing those types of games, and it's one of the reasons why I like the system. Next, another game that I have played the living heck out of. Super Monkey Ball 2. The competitive part of this is amazing. I really, really like it. Um, you know, it's kind of like in, um, in, in its main part, it, it's kind of just basically like uh, Marble Madness. But once you get into the multiplayer, Dogfight is really cool. Uh, Target is amazing. I've just played so much of that. Billiards isn't bad. Golf is pretty fun. Just a whole lot of cool stuff. And definitely worth playing if you have a GameCube. Get this game. It's great. Why would you get Soul Calibur for the GameCube? Well, looking at the cover, you can guess why. I'm a big fan of Link, so anything with Link in it, I tend to buy. Don't know why I like the character so much. He's kind of bland as far as characters go. Not really much of a personality in him. But I do like the games and I like the look of the character, I guess. And the fact that they've kind of evolved him over time. And I absolutely love Soul Calibur. So you get the two together and you've got some win there. Hey, is there a decent uh, fighting stick for the GameCube? Let me know in the comments down below. I should definitely go look for that. Next, Splinter Cell. That looks like crap, doesn't it? Pandora tomorrow. No idea why I keep trying to do this, which is uh, buying first person shooters for the uh, GameCube, but there we go. There's Splinter Cell. Pandora tomorrow. There wasn't really good, there wasn't really good first person shooter uh, for this. 
I'm trying to remember the name of it. I should probably pick that up. Hey, if you remember the name, there was this really, was it Time Something? Time Something for it. If you remember the name of it, tell me down below. Uh, next, we have Kirby Air Ride, another game that I absolutely have just not played. But it has its instructions. Ooh, those look a little beat. Somebody's been reading the manual. I might have to check this one out. This actually looks pretty good. Huh. 3D races. Oh, well, I'll definitely try it. I'll be darned. Next, Mario Superstar Baseball. I do play baseball games on occasion. I have played the Mario. Uh, is it Mario? Yeah, no, it was part of, um, you know what it was? I believe there's a Mario like baseball segment as a mini game in the board game series. I think that was how it went. Anyway, uh, if I'm gonna play baseball, might as well be Mario. And looks very interesting. Again, another game I just have not had time to play. I really gotta get onto my backlog one of these days. Next, Need for Speed Underground. Got this when I was kinda desperate for GameCube games. Uh, be ready for a bunch of Need for Speed here down at the end. I actually think this is a good game. I originally played it, I believe, on the PC and thought it was amazing and it really was. It had a good soundtrack, fun to play, really good game. So why not do Need for Speed Underground 2? Yeah, more of the same. I don't know why racing games on the GameCube don't seem to be good as their cousins like on the PS2. Have you noticed that? Anyway, or on the Xbox, those versions seem to be a lot better. Finally, we have Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Yet another game I play on the PC because it's freaking amazing. Even now, this is a really good game, although I don't think for the GameCube it's really super good. By the way, this is also my last game. Crud. <laughs> Ran out. And that is it, my GameCube collection in its entirety. All right, so my big question to you guys is, what am I missing? And I'm talking GameCube exclusives that are really great. Could you let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to hunt them up and put them in a future haul video. I wanna thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.